Today is a good day. We have ASOS, we have Nespresso, and we have some stuff from Selfridges to show you. Hi guys, I forgot to film an intro, but welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Zara and Selfridges haul today, and I'll be showing you lots of things and basically getting annoyed at what I bought from Zara. Well, let's get into it. So I have the Kim Kardashian skims on right now. I thought I'd just use it to see if it would help with my stomach because I get bloated a lot. Um, it comes up to here. I'm obviously not going to show you them. I think it's a bit too much information. But uh, it stops here. So there's a little bit of a bump here where like, your top abs are. So you have to make sure that it's really pulled up. But it's got a, like a double band, like, like double gel all the way around to kind of stop it from rolling down. The reviews do say that everybody's rolls down and that's like the only bad thing about them, but they are mega comfortable. I was expecting it to be like a corset, but it's so comfortable. They're like this shape. And then at the back, they're like um, briefs. I didn't want the thong one. Um, so I'm really impressed with them. And I think I'd wear them, you know, if I needed to go somewhere and I was gonna eat loads and then be bloated, I'd probably put these on because I know that I can actually breathe in them. So yeah, well done Kim, enjoyed those. I got a size small slash medium and I got the nude colour. They were £35 in Selfridges. So here are some capsules that I ordered for my Virtuo Plus machine. Loads of decaf, absolutely cannot live without my decafs at night. Got some vanilla custard pie to try. Not sure how that's going to go because I hated the hazelnut flavour. But I thought that wouldn't be as like chemical tasting. Got some normal ones, ones from different places in the world, Costa Rica, Ethiopia. And then I got this to put the capsules in because ours is looking pretty gross. It's very scratched. I'll see if I can upload a little picture for you. Everything comes in a beautiful box, proper sturdy box that you can reuse. Now, online, this just looked like some scales, but it's actually quite techy, so it can spin on the spot. And this base is really heavy and will not slide anywhere once it's on a surface. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It just looks cute because you can have it at any angle and it just kind of stays there. So it's pretty smart. Also loving the branding name at the bottom here, if you can see it. Well, isn't this the weirdest thing I've ever bought? They like Jasmine when she goes to the market, Princess Jasmine and Aladdin. What is this? What is it? The actual hem is all the way down my shoulder. And then this is here, but my arm's back here. Why is the hem so far down my arm? It's really annoying, I can feel it. I don't know if this, this is like, what, pajamas or... This is supposed to be a jogger set. Are you having a laugh? Why is it so wide-legged? Fine for around the house, yeah, but I was planning on going out in this. Absolutely not. Here, I feel like an inmate. Right now, this is a blue navy tracksuit from ASOS. Not the most flattering. I feel like I'm dressed as Joe right now. Yeah, this is, this is boy wear. It's not, but it looks like it. Very, yeah, just boyish and not much shape to it whatsoever. Not going well, ASOS. You're letting me down. I will say it is mega comfy though. I could live in these forever. They just don't look great. Thank God an outfit that I like. So this is a three piece sort of thing on ASOS's website. Just mega comfy, love this jacket. This was a size six and I was really worried it was gonna be too small. Clearly it's very oversized. So keep that in mind. Um, need another bra on with this, but this is just like a crop top. Has a stupid zip here, which took me ages to do up. Like one of those really stiff zips. But absolutely loving this. Can wear this with white trainers. Mega, mega comfy in it. And I love the colour of it. And it's just something different. Another super comfy tracksuit. It's very creased though, which is putting me off taking it because I have to take it in a suitcase. So I would need some sort of hotel iron. Excuse the mess. But they've put shoulder pads in here why like you can see there is a clear bump oh, i've just been fiddling around with them for ages why are you putting shoulder they don't need shoulder pads it's a tracksuit but love the color it's a very like it feels high quality it feels like wow 
this is 100% cotton, that's why it feels nice. It kind of feels like silky, like a very silky cotton. I suppose I would wear this. It's not too creased. I suppose I could walk with it. I think it's just where it's been in the bag. Extremely comfy and I will be keeping these, even though it's not that flattering. No, I've changed my mind. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Look at the state of the creases on this. And you just know it's going to be one of them that you keep ironing over and over. Look how many creases that has. It's just too much. Too ridiculous. It's going back stupid shoulder pads so then comes the more expensive garments so i went to the traffic yesterday and was amazed to see that good american it was in selfridges good american is chloe kardashian's jeans brand she does like she specializes in making sure that get girls with big bums don't have the gap at the back i don't have that problem as you can see <laughs> and that making sure that the the waist is stretchy and comfortable with my bloating problem, I absolutely needed these jeans. It has flat tummy technology, so you don't end up with that bump right here when you've eaten. And um, it's just so, so comfortable. So these were £150, which I know sounds crazy, but I am so bothered about having comfy jeans when I go out and I eat because my belly just goes huge. So I just needed some kind of maternity jeans that weren't maternity jeans, if you know what I mean. So I got these, they do look nice, but as I say, I am more bothered about the comfort and not having to think at the end of the day, oh my God, I can't wait to get my jeans off because these feel like leggings, to be honest with you. They feel really good. Also got this jumper from Reese. Um, this was 75 pounds, but you can really tell the quality, not by looking on it, but by the feel of it. It's really thick, it's nice and bright for summer and it fits really nice. I love the hem style on the arm. And I just can't wait to wear this to summer when you're in beer gardens and it's a bit too cold to be wearing anything but a jumper. So nice summery jumper. And then I got some more good American jeans and these are for going out. They've got a wet look, like shiny look to them, but they're still pretty sturdy. They're not like jeggings. And this is what I am loving. So you can obviously tie it a bit looser after you've eaten. Stretchy waistband again, really stretchy waistband. Just paired it with this top, just any old top. Yeah, absolutely loving the detail here for going out. And it's got good bum technology and leg technology, sucks in your waist and things. So she's really thought about how jeans fit all women. So well done, Chloe. I'm loving those. And these are £180, <clears throat> but I think well worth it. Something that you should invest in is a good pair of jeans that you can wash over and over again and they will last because they're good quality. And by the way, I'm like bending down, moving around. Like it's basically like I've got a pair of pajamas on. They are that comfy and elastic and they just move with you. So it's not like a stiff pair of jeans. That I, I have a lot of these when I go out and I can't actually move in them very well. But yeah, these are literally like leggings, they're great. And then the last part of my haul today is from a brand called Ortega. Now this is um, a soap company from, um, I think they're from Dubai because we had this in Dubai. Uh, in our hotel room in 2017. Joe remembered it because he absolutely loved the scents of these soaps. Um, he now buys them um, to use at home. He does this all the time, so he did it in Italy as well. He remembered those and bought some of those as well. Um, just for the memories, the nostalgia of being in your room and getting that smell back that you had when you were on holiday. So we got some bath and shower gel, really gorgeous packaging. And then these are the hand soaps. So pretty and thoughtful how they put all the packaging together. I can't really pronounce some of these scents, so I'll just show you them instead. <laughs> oh, and some bath salts. I take it these are free because I can't see him buying bath salts. Beautiful. Oh my God, that smells of holiday. That is so nice. That is beautiful. So I hope you liked my haul today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and let me know which items you liked best in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.